Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is a Friday, so it is weigh-in day. Post-Christmas weigh-in day and this one, pretty interesting. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. It's almost the new year. Let me help you reach your goals in 2024. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box as well as my Facebook group. Come on over, join us. We would love to have you. So let's talk about my week, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and this interesting post-Christmas moving into the new year weigh-in. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing holiday. We had a great Christmas. Very low key, very chill, very relaxing, which is everything that I could hope for for the holiday. On Christmas Eve, I got up early, watched some Christmas movies, cuddled with Lola and Palmer on the couch. My in-laws came over at 4 p.m. on Christmas Eve and we had a spread of appetizers. I made a beautiful charcuterie board with lots of different crackers and jams. We had nuts, we had Christmas cookies. I made stuffed mushrooms and pickle ham roll-ups. It was absolutely fantastic. It was the perfect Christmas Eve. Not a heavy dinner, just light appetizers. And then we watched Christmas Vacation, which is a tradition for our family. We watch it every single year. It was just a really nice, relaxing Christmas Eve. And then Christmas morning, I got up, the dogs got their stockings, they got their presents, and then we had breakfast, and I watched Christmas movies, and then we headed over to my in-laws at 2 p.m. for Christmas Day dinner, where my mother-in-law made these turkey pot pies that were fantastic. We did a little gift exchange. We played a game. It was just absolutely fantastic. Like I said, low key relaxing and everything that I would want Christmas to be. It was not a stressful time at all, which I am so thankful for. It was a little bit of a hard Christmas this year because it was our first year without diesel. We lost our lab in March of this year and this was our first Christmas without him. So I had a bit of a rough day on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, shed a few tears, but really focused on just honoring diesel this holiday season and then really being so grateful to have Lola this Christmas. If you remember my sweet girl, she's right back there sleeping, was diagnosed with lymphoma earlier this year, went through chemo, cancer treatment has been in remission for months and I'm so incredibly grateful and I was so thankful this Christmas to have her because had we not put her through chemo, had she not done so well and been successful, she wouldn't be with us this Christmas. So I just appreciated every single second with her. I mean, every single second with her and I'm so grateful to have her with me this Christmas and I can't wait to have her with me next Christmas as well. So a lot of gratefulness and thankfulness this holiday season and just a lot of family time and a lot of just special memories made. We had the cutest family photo that took us about 10 tries to get, but we got it. We got it. We had both dogs looking at the camera in their cute little Christmas scarves and it just was, it was really truly a holiday to remember. I did not track my food on Christmas Eve. I did not track my food on Christmas Day. I had lots of Christmas cookies. I had lots of amazing food over the holiday season and I am not mad about it at all. We will talk about my weight and what that looked like over the holiday season, but before we do, I want to chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. Kind of towards the end of 2023, what we're looking at Weight Watchers workshop topic related. And this is how to take charge of your unhelpful thoughts. I know that the holidays are hard for people, but it can be a really stressful time. It can be hard on our mental health. It can be hard on our physical health. And then post-holiday, it becomes a little bit of a depressing time for people. Those post-holiday blues and those post-holiday weigh-in blues. And we can really get some un- helpful thoughts going in our head and we need to learn how to combat those so that we can, can finish out 2023 strong and be healthy and happy moving into 2024. Try this. Identify an unhelpful thought. Pay attention when your brain starts telling you something that's less than supportive. I ate all those cookies and now my week is ruined. Why even bother tracking? You can also create some distance. Imagine that thought is a cartoon character and you're just relaying the script. 
There's that thought. It says this week is a wash and I should give up. And number three, commit to act. Decide which actions you'll take based on your goals, not what single thought dictates. I don't have to wait. I don't have to quit. I'll make and track a low point dinner tonight and a snack on zero point foods. We need to evict all those unhelpful thoughts and bring in all of the thoughts that are going to help us finish out the year strong and finish out the year with a weight loss. It's hard. It's really hard to shift from unhealthy thoughts to healthy thoughts. And you have to learn a way to navigate your weight loss journey and understand that the holidays are going to come around every single year. Your weight is not going to do this. It's going to do this. It's going to do this it's going to do this. You have to understand all of that so that you don't put yourself in a negative headspace, especially when you overindulge during the holidays. It's the holidays. It's okay to eat Christmas cookies on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Nobody gained weight on the holidays. What happened when people gain weight is leading up to and after the holidays. So my biggest tip for you is to get right back to normal the day after Christmas. That's exactly what I did. Sometimes the thoughts in our head aren't actually the reality. The negative things we say to ourselves are just us beating ourselves up for no reason, not giving ourselves grace, not understanding that what happens on one or two days a month isn't going to dictate our success overall. And shifting those negative thoughts into positive thoughts so we can move in a positive way on our weight loss journey. Like I said, finish this year out strong. Don't give up and say, oh, we'll just start over January 1st. Why? Why? The holidays are over. Christmas is over. Christmas Eve is over. Thanksgiving is over. Halloween is over. Get back to it immediately so you can be successful the rest of 2023. And instead of sharing three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you, I'm going to share one fast fact that speaks volumes. And that is thoughts are not facts. The thoughts in your head are not actual facts. The thoughts are not facts. What negative thoughts you're telling yourself, how you overindulged on Christmas, how you might as well throw in the towel till January 1st. None of those are facts. Those are just thoughts that you have. So learn how to transform those negative thoughts into positive thoughts. And like I said, be successful through the rest of 2023. Don't wait till 2024. Don't have more making up to do come January. Be successful the rest of this year. Get back to it. Get back on track. Speaking of getting back to it and getting back on track, Let's talk about my way in. Now, you guys know my goal for December was to maintain, not gain. I'm going to continue that goal through the remainder of December, even though the holidays are over. But with the holidays being over, I will tell you that I got right back to my normal routine the day after Christmas. I worked out Tuesday. I went to a weightlifting class with my girlfriend, Melissa. I started tracking my food again. I started drinking my water. I started eating healthy. I started getting back to my normal meals and that's all that you have to do. I indulged on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, let me tell you. And like I said, I didn't track a single solitary thing. And guess what else? When I weighed the day after Christmas, my weight was up almost two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. And it took the entire week for my weight to stabilize. Now, I'll tell you, when my weight went up two and a half pounds, I didn't gain two and a half pounds of fat in two days over Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It was a weight fluctuation based on the different foods that I was eating, eating more than I normally ate, drinking less water, eating less protein, not tracking my food. That's all that it was. Was I surprised when I stepped on the scale and saw two and a half pound gain? Sure. Did it negatively affect me? Absolutely not. I got right back to normal the day after Christmas. I focused on drinking my water. I focused on tracking my food. I made sure I met my protein goal every single day. And like I said, my weight stayed up most of the week. I'm also at the phase of my my hormones and my cycle is in the ovulation phase, which I've talked about in the past is where I typically see the scale go up. And then it goes right back down. When I'm in ovulation, my weight typically goes up. So between Christmas and that, I could have really got into a negative headspace. I could have given up and said, well, forget it. I've already gained two pounds. Let me just finish out December and I'll get back to it in January. But that's not what I did. Regardless of the two and a half pound weight gain, weight fluctuation, I still got back to normal because I know that it's better for my my body, my mental health, my physical health, helping me reach my goals, helping finish out 2023 and starting 2024 off on the right foot. Getting back to normal is the way to go to be successful. And when I stepped on the scale today after Christmas, I'm still up a little bit on the scale. I'm up 0.6, which means I probably gained a few ounces over the holidays. That's to be expected. Oh, and side note, I also didn't work out Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I took both of those days as rest days and I ate all the foods that I wanted those two days and didn't track. So I'm not surprised that I'm up 0.6. Honestly, to me, that's a weight fluctuation and I can almost guarantee you come next week, that'll be gone. 
That'll be completely gone and I'll be back to normal. So I am up 0.6 on the scale. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I didn't let that affect me in a negative way. I didn't allow that to derail my progress the rest of the year. I'm back to normal. And like I said, we'll see what next week brings. Having a little bit of a weight gain AKA fluctuation is normal. You ate foods you normally don't eat. You probably ate more than you normally eat. And I promise you, if you stay the course, your weight will go right back to normal. The scale will eventually catch up. So just do what you know is healthy for you. Move your body, drink your water, eat the right foods. And I promise you whatever fluctuation you had over the holidays will be gone within one to two weeks. So a 0.6 gain to end out December and move into the new year. I can't wait to see what the new year brings. Speaking of the new year and goals, stay tuned on Sunday for my vision board, my 2023 goals recap, and my 2024 goals. I have some pretty lofty goals for the new year, and I can't wait to share them with you. Let me know down in the comments, how were your holidays? How was your Christmas Eve, your Christmas day? How did you do tracking food? What did the scale say? for you? Did you fluctuate and wait a little bit? Let us know everything down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos every single week. As a reminder, I have group coaching starting in January. My January meal plan is available as well as the January New Year's Challenge group, which was fantastic for reaching your goals. All of this is in my Facebook group. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, come join us. That's where I post all of these different events and opportunities is in my Facebook group and over on my Instagram. And again, nutrition coaching is down below. Have your macros and calories done for the new year, as well as all, as well as discounts and links to some of my favorite things. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move into 2024 strong and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.